Having done some random running around on oh, the last one, I thought we would start this one. Look at that sniper book and a rifle book by uh, going and doing a quest that we have. Did you reset by the by any chance? No. Okay. I mean, I just had thought like, I mean, hey, we just reset there or started the quest, so maybe that reset. Apparently not so much. This is going to be a fetch quest. I'm just stopping to read what it is because I thought, huh. Cat, thank you. She comes sliding up onto the desk and slams into my hand. Hi, how you doing? What, what's going on, kitty? Take a seat. Boom. There you go. She's like, ah, you're annoying. Well, so are you. That's why we get along so well. We annoy the crap out of each other. Anyway. Got ourselves a fetch quest that looks like the way down, so uh, maybe that's not the way to go just yet. Hey, take that. Thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and take uh, whatever random things we have here. Maybe I'm not going to worry about grabbing seeds. That's okay. I'm not, I'm not going to sweat that one. I'll go ahead and stop and eat the pears. I am now talking through my cat because she's standing up in front of the microphone, so minor details and all of that jazz. By the way, cat, it's warm. You are warm. We are both going to overheat. Hey, look at that. Steak and potato meal unlocked. I don't recall if that's one that we already had, but if it isn't, well, it's one we do have now. So I guess on the whole, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's see. There's some trash back here. Sure, we'll take that. Hi, thank you. She's been very headbutty lately. I don't know what that is about. Some days she just loves to headbutt. Man, my, she was actually hurting my chin last night when she was headbutting me. She was doing it so much. I was like, dude, you just you need to not be doing that as much. And we've already got a weighted head mod on that one. I guess we could put it on this guy. I mean, I'm just trying to think of the ones where it's really going to matter, and I don't know that it really matters on any of them, honestly. How you doing? I'm just gonna stab and stab again. Stab and stab and stab again. Okay, so far so good. Hi. Let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. How you doing? And bonk. That looked good. Nice, excellent, clean shot there. I mean, if you're not going to come around the corner, then I'm going to stop and and check. Oh, well, there's three of them. I heard one. I heard one, but we got three. Gotta say, it is very handy having some upgraded Lucky Looter. It means we can check some of the stuff while we're waiting for the zombies to come around the corner to catch up to get up all the things, which, you know, just a more efficient use of time, that's all. Don't know that it really matters that much. But it is what it is. We are right underneath where the supplies are, basically. They are right here, right above us somewhere. So is that... I mean, it's literally like right above us. I guess that'll be on the second floor or something. I mean, I hope so, because if not, we got to basically chew through the ceiling to find it. That should have been... That should be, like, right over here is where that was. Knife guy! Vehicle adventures! We can make a bone knife quality four. Madam, you seem to have dropped something. You seem to have dropped something as well. What are the chances of that happening back-to-back? -back? Same zombie. Same exact scenario, basically. Power stab. Zombie head goes flying. That's part of why this is my favorite children's game. Yes, I said that. I didn't mean it, but that's what I said. Okay. Obviously, this is not a children's game, but uh, I don't know. It could be. It's just zombie violence. I'm not going to judge. Okay, let's go ahead and go, uh, I assume, upstairs. Since I, I saw the ladder, the staircase, rather. And no, oh, hello. Okay, let's see what we've got going on out here. 
That guy is not going to get back up. That's good news for us. Looks like this is everything up here. Oh, hi. How you doing? Little concerned about that guy. Crawlers are obnoxious. His little uh, flappy doos were, were still flappy doing. Oh, there goes your face. Where is the thing? It's still up? I thought it had been like a couple of meters away, I guess. I read that wrong. Did not think that was the case. Okay. Today I learned I cannot read. Take all those guys. Doesn't look like any of them unlocked anything. Hey. Quality 5 pipe rifle. I forget. Do we already have one of those? I know we... I want, well, I want to say we picked up one. I don't remember. Maybe not. I'm, I'm kind of okay with uh, experimenting with a quality 5. I knew I heard something. Hi, how you doing? I don't know that you fell, but... I am kind of interested in, in seeing what a quality 5 pipe rifle will do. Just see if it's enough to, you know, be a one-hit KO on most zombies. I do kind of wonder, too, if you aim at their neck, do you stand a better chance of beheading them? Because if so, I can start aiming for necks. I'm okay with that. It won't hurt me any. Oh, this is... I just looked. I, did, I wasn't even... Okay. I was coming over here thinking there's going to be a bird or something. Well, there's a nest, so... I guess I wasn't that far off, but uh, no, there was no bird right there. Check this trash pile. That was worth it right there. 23 wood. That's good. Where is our bicycle? We should be able to drop a good chunk of this without any problem because we have the book for it. Let's go return to the trader. All right, Trader Joel, let's see what you got for us. I mean, we could take a, a good... Well, a better quality claw hammer and forge steel. I think the magazine bundle is still our best bet right now. Uh, you do have a couple of infestations. I am kind of curious what a tier 3 infestation is like, so... Sure, we'll go ahead and take one of those. I might have regrets. I mean, the, the tier 2 infestations have definitely been more challenging than the regular tier 2 quests have been, so... I think we kind of need to be prepared for the possibility that it's going to be bad. I'm going to say let's buy a couple of these mods and other things just because we can go ahead and use them to make our life a little bit better. Um, we'll buy Armored Up. Sure, we'll buy all of those. We'll buy all of those. Um, we'll hold off on buying the book for right now. And then is there anything else that we need? Jar of Honey. Yes, please. And... I might want to do something a little different for the next one. Oh, hello. Look at that. Three antibiotics. I didn't even see how much it cost. I just outright bought them. Like, no joke. I just saw those and went, yep, bye. Oh, I'll buy those too. You know what? I mean, that is so cheap for the cobblestones. And we can use that to upgrade the base. I mean, we definitely still need to do some upgrading. We've done... I don't know. We've done a little bit of work on it, but not, not enough for it to really be in a good spot. I mean, it is more or less all upgraded to wood now. I don't think I've shown you this, nor have I shown you that we have some additional boxes. So let me drop some stuff off, resupply, and then we'll pick back up. So this is our quest location. I probably shouldn't have piped the bark over there, parked the bike that far over there, but anyway, whatever. This is a Tier 2 location, which means that this is effectively Tier 3 in difficulty because we are doing an infestation. That's just how that works, you see. Oh, hi. How you doing? Okay. Nope. Don't do it. Don't you even think about it, sir. I am slightly concerned about what we're going to run into based on that as our starting point. I mean, basically had an infected guy immediately. Uh, yellow eyes, orange eyes, however you want to say it. Not a great start. But it's acceptable. It's fine. Did come packing extra heat, though, just in case it is needed. 
And I won't be surprised if it is. I'm pretty sure I hear a snake. Just want to see what's going on in here. Okay, nothing of interest. So let's just keep on going down here. And there we go. And then we're going to climb up. And then we're going to climb back down. And then probably climb back up. Because I think these guys might be angry. Okay. Let's try to be smart about this. Now, had I been smarter, I would have remembered to bring more bolts. Or maybe would have instead grabbed the bow, because we have many more arrows than we do bolts. Minor details and such. Okay. All right, good knockdown on that guy. Ah, uh, waited just a hair too long. Mm, that's gonna take a minute, isn't it? Okay. I mean, if we had a better melee weapon, I'd be okay with just running down there and going toe to toe with them, but. Oh my gosh. Okay. I can't handle this anymore. Okay, I was counting my rounds. Alright, this guy we can just handle like so. And that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Let's get inside. Should probably mention it is day seven. We are going to get a day seven horde. And at this rate, it's going to be here before you know it. Which does give me slight concern. Slight pause. Slight worry. Slight all the things. I have bad memories of this POI, by the way. Broke my leg in it. It was very traumatic. Oh, kind of like that guy there. He looked like he broke something. You, sir, you are not invited to this shindig, so... Kind of annoyed. It's very rude to invite yourself. Okay. guy's going to break through in just a second here. So let's see if we can maybe uh, get rid of at least one of these guys. Alright, it's going to be longer than I thought for that guy to break through. Um, this is really annoying. Like, seriously. pistol does not fire as fast as the dual pistols do in hell mod. <laughs> oh, I don't know where this guy is. Now, let's not worry about it. He'll he'll get through eventually. And if he's part of the quest, well, we'll, we'll know. Because we're going to be missing him and the quest is not going to complete without him. Minor details and such. Ooh, that's good right there. That's good loot. Bunch of stones. I'm... I'm very pleased with that. That is acceptable. Just hop up here. This seems like a better place to fight from. Okay. Yeah, I guess they're on the other side there, huh? Okay, you are toast. You are toast. I said you're toast, good sir. Let's climb all the way up here. We're going to bounce across. And then this is where it gets interesting, if I remember correctly. Oh, that is not bad. We'll take that. I mean, it's one of those things. You can always use clay in this game. I suppose, unless you've been busy with an auger, in which case... You might not actually need any clay, but whatever. Generally speaking, you can always use some clay. I was trying to be ready for whoever would be the 
jerk that was going to be running because he knew there would be one. There's always one. Nothing like a good old decapitation with a pistol. Nothing like it. It is... It is a joy to behold. Okay, so we need to get across the way here. And then we can just cross right over here. Oh, look at that. You're all crumbly wumbly. Isn't that a delight? And then go this way. No, or not. I thought that was... Okay. I guess that's not the way to go. For some reason, I was thinking it was. Well, that means uh, going all, all over again, then, because I don't think this is the right way. Come on, go down. Ladders and I. We don't get along. In case you're wondering what the end to that equation is. Ooh, look at that semi. That is nice. That is very good. Apparently, I need to go run around this whole stupid thing again. There are chickens everywhere, by the way. There we go. I thought it was on that side. I just, for some reason, didn't go to that side. Okay, let's back up and reload. I mean, I can kind of do this all day. Did everyone die? No, that's a shame. I think that guy died now. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, that didn't feel great. Didn't need to do that. That was uncalled for. Okay. So what are we dealing with, a sprain? Okay, I can live with a sprain. That hurt, but we'll be fine. All right, did not hit the switch last time. That would have been helpful. There we go. That should unlock all of these guys. And then, I'll be honest, I don't remember where the final loot is. Hmm. I got to think about that one for a minute. I think that's our infestation crate right there. And this must be the last of these guys. I'm hoping, anyway. There we go. Bong, bonk. That was the last of them. Although, where is the final loot? Had I known it was going to be this POI, I would have never agreed to it because I hate this POI. I just don't like it. There's our infestation cache. That was pretty good. Like, I don't know where the final loot is. I want to say it's in one of these silos. But I don't remember. And, I mean, I kind of don't feel like looking through all of them to figure it out. Which is probably not the right approach to have. But, um, you know, that's reality sometimes. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Come on. If I can figure out how to navigate the ladders, we can get down. Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe getting that honey was worth it. Fireman's Almanac, we'll take that. I mean, none of this is really, like, great loot, per se. But... We'll go ahead and take all of it. That's, that's okay. Let's get back to the base. And that's going to take a minute, because... I don't want to make things much worse than they already are. Back at Trader Joel's, we should probably spend a couple of points, so we'll do that in a second. Thank you. Oh man, quality two wooden bow. I think that is the obvious choice, and that more or less means that our oh goodness, let's take the infested clear. That more or less means that our experimentation with the crossbow is going to come to an end. So no splint. Let's see what you have for... You don't have any arrows. Not sure how you get parts out of arrows, but whatever. And then uh, we'll go ahead and sell you those guys. And I guess that's really it. The rest of this stuff we can just hold Thanks on to. Here. 
come again. And we never did get around to reading all these things that we bought, never mind the one that we got as a, a quest reward. So we'll go ahead and read all those guys. I am curious where that leaves us for spears. And then I do want to spend a point here into... Let's see, I don't know if it's... Maybe we should do healing factor. That's not a bad one. Wow, one health every 35, 25, 15, 10, and 5. Wow. That's a huge change from what it used to be. Pain tolerance might not be a bad one, too. No chance to get stunned, yeah. Let's go ahead and put a point into healing factor. I'm fine with that. I kind of want to do one in this, too, just to reduce the food and water loss, but... Eh, we'll be alright. I'm not I'm not sweating that right now. How are we doing on spear stuff? We cannot do any more spear stuff just yet. I might be willing to put a couple of points into archery. I mean I don't mind the bow. I mean I like the bow, actually. That's kind of a lie. I really like the bow. But you kind of need to I don't know, you kind of need to invest a fair amount in it, I think. Uh, let's just sit on those points for a minute. That's fine. I'm not sure how we're going to handle the horde. We're at a point where it's kind of not really um, a good time of day for me to do a video. Because it's so late in the day and the horde's getting ready to show up. But uh, next one will either be a short one or it'll be a long one. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But right now, calling this one good. Catch you next one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.